Hi everyone, welcome to the Barbuto Family Channel. I'm here in Florence, Italy for a few days without my wife and children, and every time I come here alone, I always bring my kids back toys from their favorite toy store. What I thought would be fun for a video today is to take you through the most popular toy store here in Florence, Italy called Dreoni, and you can see the difference between an Italian toy store and compare it to the toy stores that you have back at home. I hope you guys find it interesting, and when you're in Florence next time, make sure you visit Dreoni. And here we are everyone at Dreoni on Via Cavour in Florence, Italy. Look at that, it's from 1923, almost a hundred years. By far the most popular toy store in Florence. One thing you'll notice in this toy store is there's a lot of trains, toy trains, model trains, probably because trains are a big part of Italian culture. Everybody seems to ride trains here in Italy. Then, of course, we have Tombolo, the Italian version of Bingo. And then we have Leonardo da Vinci toys. Leonardo da Vinci was from the Florence area, originally spent a lot of time on the very street that Dreoni is located. Florence, Italy is also known as the center of the Renaissance. So, of course, you have Renaissance costumes for children, as well as various Renaissance little figurine toys for kids to play with. And you have the science games for children, as well as a number of games that Americans would recognize, but in the Italian language, including Battleship, also known as Battaglia Navale, you can see it right there on the bottom left, and Cluedo, also known as Clue on the bottom there. Um, and then, of course, you have Monopoly, which obviously everyone knows Monopoly, uh, Fortnite, Frozen. And then we have 3D puzzles of various landmarks around the world, including, of course, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which is also in Tuscany. And here's the doll section. That's Ciccio Bello, an Italian doll company, as well as a lot of companies that I recognize from the United States, such as LOL Surprise. They're really big in the U.S. And um, other companies, Crazy Chic. We have a company here called the Silvania Families that sell little rabbits. I'm not familiar with that company, but um, I understand that they sell their, their rabbits internationally. Uh, then, of course, we have Brio. Brio is huge, even in the U.S. Walking down the aisle on the back side of the toy store, we see other Italian brands, including um, a company called Hedu, which you can see right here. Um, that's an Italian brand specializing in um, educational toys for kids. Then you have here uh, the Doo-Doo Puzzle, uh, which uh, I'm not familiar with. Oh, of course you have Play-Doh. Can't escape Play-Doh in any toy store around the world. Uh, that's always a lot of fun. And then uh, we have here Super Mario. What better place to sell Super Mario toys than in Italy? We have Ninja Go Legos, Harry Potter Legos. We have the Friends Legos. We have the City Legos. So of course, all these Lego brands you can find in the U.S., they are all over the world. And we know this game as foosball in the United States, but here in Italy it is Calcio Barilla. And as soccer is the predominant sport in Italy, we have a big soccer section. Pinocchio is huge here in this part of Italy. Pinocchio actually originated about an hour outside of Florence in a small town called Collodi. You see Pinocchio stores all around Florence and Tuscany in general. Oh, and then of course you have slime, which is apparently taking over the world right now. And we have little toy Vespas, the most popular moto scooter of Italy. And as we walk out the front entrance towards Via Cavour, if we turn right here, it's about a four to five minute walk to the Duomo, the most popular piazza in Florence. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something about an Italian toy store. I can't wait until I get home tomorrow to give this to Sofia. And I got these two toys, Thor and Iron Man, one for my son and one for my nephew, Matteo. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the Barbuto Family Channel. We'll see you next time.